Sage Anandam, this is Dr. Priya K. Dubey. I am giving the, you idea about Indian banking system. And in this uh, slides, the overview of banking, part first, I am giving you. I belongs to School of Management and Commerce. For the purpose of understanding banking, we have to just understand firstly, meaning of banking. The banking is an industry that handles cash, credit and other financial transactions. Bank provides a safe place to store extra cash and credit. They offer saving account, certificate of deposits and checking account. Banks use these deposits to make loans for home, for business, car and for other purposes. As well, for the purpose of uh, understanding banking, banking is a financial institution licensed to receive deposits and make loans by the government of India and by the any government organization. For the purpose of understanding, we refer here definition accepting of deposits of money from public for the purpose of lending or investment, repayable on demands or otherwise and withdrawal by check, draft or otherwise. In the same context, we refer second definition. The banking is the business activity of accepting and safeguarding money owned by other individual and entities and then lending out the money in order to earn profit. As we understood the meaning of bank, so on the ground of these, we can understand objectives of bank, mainly bank work for two objectives first one is business objective and business objectives cover these aspect making profit and investment by the by the transition of the money and handling with money providing services to their customers in different aspects and different work currency issues is one of the major tasks of the bank that that is on the demand of the customer Creation of transaction media, that means they have to handle different transactions within a day for an individual or an organization or, or anyone else who is the customer of the bank. Receiving deposits from the bank in a small or a very large manner. Making loans out of the receiving deposits. Secondly, the social objectives of the bank is creating savings. That means inculcate the saving habit in the customer for their future for capital formation and second objective is capital formation for out of their savings and they have to invest this money for their for creation of their home or car or land building business etc industrialization is a, one of the major social objective of banking the, by the help of industrialization they are uh, they are providing loans and uh, uh, industrialization makes employment generation and developing living standard of individual or the society. Economic development is a one of the social objectives. And for the purpose of this, they are providing loans as well as they are providing help to anybody else and their customer for the growing their business as well as growing their individual capital. Features of banking includes deals with money because the bank always deals with money, plastic money, or capital money or cash money and different kinds of money digital money also they provide loan to their customer they work for a middleman because with the help of middleman they just uh, uh, if, if a customer give them give a check to their uh, uh, their uh, anybody so they are just uh, uh, playing the role of middleman and just uh, keep the record of it deposits with withdrawal that means uh, to provide deposits facility as well as for the purpose of uh, uh, deposits they if they want withdrawal then uh, they uh, bank uh, features of banking is to give them withdrawal they are providing internet services for the purpose of uh, handling for the purpose of comfortableness of the customer commercial in nature because the whole the activity of banking is commercial in nature size transformation is one of the important aspect because uh, because the banks uh, banks always gives the idea about to save your money for the former for their side transfer if you are keeping thousand rupees in bank 
as a fixed deposit they are providing after one year 1700 rupees 1007 rupees that means they just shows the size of size transformation of money banking includes nowadays credit cards facilities also includes in the bank credit facility internet banking retail banking and insurance banking claims settlement life insurance and different kinds of insurance is also comes under the banking activity so with the help of all these above we understood the meaning of bank definitions of bank and uh, functions of banks and features of bank and mainly what includes now what is in the bank sage ananda very good afternoon